Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Graylian Games and I'm going to play Dragon Spirit. I don't think I played this back in the day, but I thought, well, it kind of sounds interesting. So let's have a look. Let's see what it's like. Run. OK, these look like Sense of the Swedens. This doesn't even make sense. I guess that's a cracking group. Design, uh, sensor design. OK. Press the space bar. Unlimited lives. Yeah. Why's it got a phone number there? Energy, no. OK. By Pac-Man. Programmed by Pac-Man. Um, it's got keys. I'm hoping, yeah, joystick port too. Space, fire and bomb. Return bomb. Okay. Well, we'll try space out at some point or return. Uh, fire to start area one. F7 for instructions. Maybe I'll have a quick look at those. Oh, it's the same ones. Fine. Loading area one. It's doing some decompression. taking a while I can see it counting down in the corner 17 16 oh here we go whoa okay so this is my dragon it's huge it takes up a huge amount of the screen so it's gonna get punished by these enemies I imagine something good is the enemy bullets they're colored but they also have a black outline which means Oh, what's the question mark? Large flames? Okay, cool. I think it's auto firing actually, so I can just hold down the fire button. Yeah, I mean, it's good it's got the enemies have got clear big bullets. Perhaps they've given the dragon a small hitbox to compensate for the giant size of it. I mean, how do I avoid stuff with a thing that big? Is that an egg? Looks like an egg. Oh, that, that was fair enough. I did get taken out by those creatures so it looks like I've got a bomb yeah and a flame so this is again a game like Xevious right so you can hit things on the ground where that black X is I think that's what it's going on and flame things in the air further away I assume that's it anyway look I blew the egg up power up whizzed by though and I didn't get it let's reload this all right, so it's got little trees with shadows, whatever this is, poking out the ground. I killed one of them. Oh dear. Well, no music. It might be nice with some sort of funny medieval music or something. Let's reload this. Yeah, I don't know what those balloons are hanging there. Well, they've got an eye on them or something. Take this one out. Good, good. Uh, and there's some kind of other creature on the ground there. Yeah, you have to bomb those. You can't. Yeah, that one won't work. Let's bomb that one. I mean, the graphics are sort of okay. But I mean, compared to the game I just played, which is admittedly from 92, so they've got the hang of things. It does look a bit more, a bit more primitive. I think the water's cute enough. It's almost cartoon-like, actually. Give it that. Something different from a shoot 'em up. So I think soon I've got Gemini Wing to play. I think that was quite cartoony, wasn't it? I mean, it's an unusual design choice to put a cartoony aesthetic in a shoot 'em up because it doesn't seem like it would work. Because most of them are fairly, you know, air quote, serious affairs. They're like war simulators, 1942 or whatever, or space things or whatever. So the cartoony look is unusual. That's what I'm saying this is, due to the outlines on everything, I guess. I mean, that could just have been to make sure you can easily spot it, but it's, it gives it a cartoony vibe. So I've changed gun now. I haven't got a flamethrower. I've got some kind of bullets. Can I blow those things up? Seems a bit nasty. Yeah, I can. They look like they're passive little creatures. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. 
Oh, that was the revenge of the passive creatures, was it? No, it's some kind of weird tornadoes that come out of the water. What are these things? More tornadoes. I avoided those. Okay, a boss. Yeah. I forgot about the bomb. I'm pressing space, enter, nothing's happening. So, oh, I get it. The bomb comes out all the time anyway. They just mean, they don't mean smart bomb. They mean the bomb in front. And I could do them separately if I wanted. Just bomb. Yeah, just bomb. I don't know why I'd want just bomb, but... Well, that was easy enough. It didn't really do much, that enemy. Loading area two. I'm going to go into turbo mode. Is that working? Yeah. Oh, well, that was unwise, wasn't it? Because the game started immediately. No warning. Wouldn't mind a different weapon. Not quite sure how to get them, but it has given me a few different weapons. Things I've missed. What looks like a heart, which might have been live. So, yeah, what's the question? Large flames. Let's see if I get that again. Oh. Let's see if I can not die and get that again. There's a question. Yeah, flames. Oh, okay. And whatever that was. Got all of those. So we reach the land and the land is blue. Oh, are these sort of mountain ranges or something? Not ranges, you know what I mean? Like a monument valley type rock outcrops. Quite cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a fantasy. It's sort of, it's unusual for you to have, to have a fancy theme, like with a dragon. That's why I downloaded it. I thought, well, I've not played shoot them up with a dragon it's normally planes spaceships or helicopters for occasionally a vehicle um, but a dragon that's new to me and it's not bad like it's got power-ups it moves quite fast it's you know fires quite fast there's a variety of enemies and backgrounds there was a boss so in theory it does a lot of stuff right what was that Oh, I've got some kind of potato gun or something. Don't know what he's firing out there. Peanuts. That'd be the next shoot 'em up genre. You're an elephant and you've got to sort of run along firing peanuts. Oh, okay, we've reached some land and it's sort of deserty. Yeah, deserty. That's actually quite nice. They've gone for the fat pixels on everything. They haven't bothered to sort of um, go with a high-res pixel for the background and low-res for the sprites. High-res being only, you know, two colours. They've gone for a full colour background. Looks quite nice, though. I mean, cartoony. Just a bit low-res. Due to the nature of the Commodore 64's fat pixels. Each of those squares, if you were to look at it, would only have a maximum of four colours. Eight by eight squares, I mean, character squares. Hmm. I think you have to shoot those twice. They're a bit like phoenixes, and then they, they come back from the ashes. And that one got me. Oh, three-way. Love it. I'll take it. Yeah, so in terms of giving me power-ups, this game is doing a good job. It's not super difficult. It's almost somewhat chill. Let's get this bomb those on the ground. Oh, that was Yoda. Am I supposed to kill Yoda? Well, too late. <laughs> Ask questions later. Volcanoes now. Maybe we do another boss. Ha! Look at that, literally, as I finish speaking. Um, it's not too difficult. No, I smashed it. Don't think it was tuned for three bullets. Let's do a turbo mode. No, that was a mistake last time, I remember, because uh, it started the level up immediately. Alright, it's changed colour to a sort of pink. Pink and brown. Oh. What was that? Okay, I've got three-way and split, 
which is pretty good because now I've got a lot of screen covered. I mean the bullets don't move very smoothly they just sort of I guess because they're really fast but you can see each each sort of Y coordinate for them. Mind you the sprite at the bottom moves fast and it scrolls you know well enough. So oh, I'm not going I don't want to lose that. It was a bit too good. I don't think I've got a hot key to skip to the next level like there wasn't an obvious cheap key. Wow it's gone sort of far out with these purple and green colours, these sort of roots or knots or whatever they are. Okay good, making progress. I want to see if there's a new area though, this is a little bit garish. I suppose that's supposed to be grass. I mean, they've come up with a variety of background tiles, it's not just green. Some long grass in amongst the other ones. Don't know how to get that egg thing. Okay, okay, so it's a bombable object. Yeah, I've sort of made it too easy now with three-way fire and split. It's good though. It's quite good fun in a sort of, you know, easy game type way. And I've got the same again, I think. That's a question mark. I wonder if you can get three-way flames. That's heart. Don't know what that does. I mean I've got five lives and it didn't appear to give me six. Can I kill that thing? Oh I guess you've got to bomb it when it pokes its head up. There isn't one in this pool. Nearly done. What's that? Oh I missed. Still green and pink. Um, I was expecting it maybe will change at some point. Maybe there will be a boss, but not yet. What's that sort of green beehive? Maybe. Can't blow it up. If it was a monster spawner, it might be nice to blow it up. I think the first time I ever saw a monster spawner was in Gauntlet. The old, you know, sort of bone pile that generates ghosts. I thought it was a cool idea. Okay, boss, probably. Save again. Oh, let's just reload that. Alright, so it's something in the middle which just fires out sort of randomly. That got me that one. Oh, no. Mate, avoided that. Let's keep going. Oh, there's. Can you blow up these egg things around the outside? Maybe that's the goal. Save. Take out the egg things. Oh, let's reload. Could be. It's an interesting boss strategy, especially the fact you have to bomb them. Yeah. One more. Oh, I walked into that. Tricky is the ones that are close because obviously a random bullet can fly out. Yeah, that was it. You take out the outside. Area four. Okay. I'll just whack the turbo on briefly and then switch it off hopefully soon enough. Yeah. So it's green and brown now. Some kind of marsh. Okay, a desert. I'm in. Let's let's check it out. Oh, scorpions. True story this, I recently went on a holiday to Crete and the first night there I thought I would just sort of brush out some sort of sand that I got in my bed somehow. I think it was sand. Uh, and I turned around and there was a scorpion that was just like six inches away from my face <laughs> crawling towards me. Um, there's only a small one and I told my wife, I said, there's a scorpion in here and she said, are you sure it's not just a spider? I said, no, I know what a scorpion looks like. So she brought a glass in and I trapped it under that and you could see its little claws and tail in there. And we, we chucked it out the door. Of course, after that I was like, I wonder if there are any more. <laughs> well, that was the only one I saw the whole time. And when I got back, my friend whose son is really into insects said, oh yeah, scorpions. He said, one, they glow in the dark and two, the small ones are the worst ones. <laughs> 
there, I was like, ah. Yeah, there's a scorpion down there. And these bug things, which I assume you have to bomb. Let's get the scorpion. Got it. Quite well disguised. Because they're orange and just sit over there. Oh, that one got me. Nope. I could just keep away. I was just trying to take it out, you know. For the lols, as they say. Maybe something up here was shooting me from under the ground. It's these invisible holes or something. I think the whole thing is like a bombable. It's bombable, yeah. I'm going to save. That was quite tough, that little bit. I guess I'm on level four. What are these? Scarab beetles? Blue ones. Oh, power up. Missed it. Reload. Maybe that will come back. Yeah, let's get these things. There it is. Look. Come on. Did I die? Let's try again. I want to get whatever it gives us. S. Normal shots. What the hell? Let's reload. Angled shots. It looked, it looked like it reset. I don't want to reset. Okay, so that was a bad power up or am I misunderstanding something? Maybe if it condenses three shots into one, it's more powerful. I don't know. Yeah, it's getting a bit difficult now and these ground things are a bit annoying. Yeah, there's a lot of bullets sort of flying out in the middle of nowhere and of course I've got a giant dragon so it's not the best thing to have to avoid them. Like they seem to be shooting out the middle of nowhere some of these things, not directly from the holes. It's a bit weird. That's what was confusing me. Unless it's bugged. What are these things? Sort of crawling bats or something, or snails. Or... No, I missed a power up then. Yeah, what does that give me? Side shield, it said. No? Yeah, yeah, shield is counting down. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. So we've got lava and skulls that laugh. Or talk. Maybe they're just on a podcast, I don't know. Okay, well, it's changed scenery. Oh. Hmm. I might be done with this. Uh, I've got an evening ahead of me. It's New Year's Eve, so I've got stuff to do. But it won't involve standing out in the rain and cold. So I think I could be oh, done with this game. Why does that keep getting me? The enemies have got quite tough now. So I don't think my three-way shot is like that good against them. Like I've got to hit them multiple times. Alright, I'm done now. Thanks for watching. Bye.